Your ten o'clock's here. Do you know, I think Ethan might be a gay. I think that's very unlikely. I am the only gay in the village. Hiya. <laughs> I'm Ethan, but all my friends call me Fanny. <laughs> Follow me. Well. Too early to tell. <laughs> Maybe I should go. Yes, back to Cardiff. We've already got one game, Clan Dewey Brevy. We don't need another one. Well, goodbye then. Provincial Queens. <laughs> David Thomas, you bloody fool. You could have had a bit of cock, there. <laughs> oh, I'm the only gay in the village. You're full of shit, you are. That's exactly the kind of homophobic attitude I come to expect in this village. Good day. <laughs> What's this I've been hearing about? <laughs> oh, David, David Thomas, you must be Noel. No, I'm his brother, Reese. Noel. <laughs> well, I, 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 no, I, I left somewhere in the oven. <laughs> Lesbians, bisexuals, transgender. Oh, there we are. Gay section. Oh, there you go. There's a gay night on Thursdays at the BJ and the Bear Pub in Aberfanwy. Oh, no, I, I couldn't possibly get over to Aberfanwy. Well, it's only half a mile away. No, the stone path is quite treacherous. But the number four goes to Aberfanwy. Oh, no, I couldn't possibly get on the bus. I'm gay, you see. Well, if you haven't had any sexual partners, then I don't think you need the test. Oh, go on, please. I am a gay, you know. Okay. Give me your arm. Make a fist. Now, you may feel a prick, but there's a first time for everything. I just had a letter from the council uh, saying that uh, there's only one gay allowed in Landaway Bleffy, and uh, that's me. So if you can all return to your neighbouring villages, please. Oh, oh no, 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 no. David, you bloody fool! What? Well, think of all the cock and bum fun you could have had. <laughs> That's the last time I closed my pub for one of your gay nights. Oh, you see, you've got someone against gay people, have you? <laughs> Look, David, uh, I'll make no bones about it. I've actually been seeing this girl for a while now. What? I suppose I'm finally coming to terms with the fact that I am a lesbian. <laughs> Ta-da! Ha hang on just a minute. What? You are not a gay. I am. No, I am the gay in this village. Well, I'm gay too. Bye. Come to think of it, there's a right handsome lad who works down the mine. He takes it up the chuff. <laughs> no, thank you. I know who's mad for cock. <laughs> that chap runs a sauna, you know, gay Aled. Gay Aled is not gay. <laughs> Your uncle glints at him. Apparently, he's very into water sports. Oh, that's nice for them. Yeah. Oh, have you met David? Uh, no, I don't think I have. David Thomas, the only gay in the village. Hello, I'm Glenn. I'm the new vicar. I wonder what the church would make of my gay and lesbian stall. Well, I'm not moving, I tell you. I'm here, I'm queer. Get used to it. No, 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 I think it's wonderful that you're here. One thing I really want to do is bring more gay people from the village into the church. Gay person. <laughs> Do these butt plugs come with batteries? <laughs> I am not having a gay brother, and that's that. Oh, he was like this when I told him about my first taste of Fanny. <laughs> well, I'm sorry you feel that way, Daffith, but I'm off home to tell them now. Come along, Pedro. Sexo? <laughs> Later. <laughs> David Thomas, that was no way to speak to your brother and his boyfriend. Pedro's gay too? <laughs> We were hoping to have a little word with you. Yes. We're applying for adoption. I wonder if you'll be our referee. Oh, but you're two great minch munchers. <laughs> yes. Well, you can't be bringing up kids. It's not right. Oh. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. I don't know. Gay marriage, adoption. What's wrong with just sitting at home in front of the television getting moist every time Sandy Toxvig comes on? <laughs> 
nobody in this pub who isn't gay. Well, I indulged in mutual masturbation when I was younger, as I count. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Jenkins? Oh, well, since I've retired, I've discovered the joys of rimming. <laughs> quite what I expected, but I've had an odd day. So, have you got somewhere we can go? Yes, well, I thought we'd go to Mrs Evans' tea rooms and have a scone. <laughs> and then I thought we'd have a wander around some of the charity shops. That's not quite what I had in mind, Scott. Who's oh, Scott? You are. Oh, yes. <laughs> How much for a good hard shack? <laughs> this, everybody, is my girlfriend. <laughs> Your girlfriend? That's right, my family. My girlfriend. <laughs> but you are a gay. I know, the only gay in the village. But the people round here are so anti-gayist, I've been forced to take myself a girlfriend. I hope you're happy now. <laughs> I was just wondering if I can count on your vote tomorrow. Oh? Are you standing in the by-election? It's not just a by-election, Mrs. Teal. It's for gays and streets, too. <laughs> Anyone can vote, regardless of sexuality. Honestly, it's like banging your head against a brick wall. So who are you standing for? The Gay Rights for Gays party. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, seeing as I am the only gay in the village, I shouldn't think anyone will be remotely interested. Good day. Oh, no. Lots of folk round here drop anchor in Pooh Bay. <laughs> Well, where are you going to stay? At the YMCA. Apparently, you can have a good meal, you can get yourself clean, and you can hang out with all the guys. <laughs> well, good for you, David. I'm going to live the gay dream, my family. I'm going to go to gay bars and drink gay drinks. I'm going to ride gay buses. And if I get peckish, my family, I'll just open up a packet of gay biscuits. <laughs> gay biscuits? This is long done, my family. Everything's gay. <laughs> Could you at least sign on? They might have a bit of money coming in. I can't go down the job centre. Why? Because you're gay? That's right. I'm a homo. I'm a bender. I'm a fan. I'm a poofter. Ma, I'm a bum boy. I know. Oh, sorry. I didn't think I mentioned it. 